So you want to learn how to display alphabet numbers and symbols on LED matrix display? In this video, we will going to learn how to do that. So let's get started. So you can see the LED matrix display interface with Arduino. I had not used any kind of multiplexers, pull-ups and pull-downs. I directly interface with Arduino and it is working perfectly. We will see all the hardware and software stuff in this tutorial. But before, please subscribe on my channel by clicking the red subscribe button. So let's get start with hardware. So this is the circuit diagram of LED matrix display. At the row, we had connected Arduino pin 10 to 17, where pin 14 is A0, 15 is A1, 16 is A2 and 17 is A3 of analog pins. At the column, we had connected Arduino pin 2. To understand the algorithm of LED matrix, let's see the working of 4 into 4 LED matrix. By understanding this, you will easily understood how the 8 into 8 LED matrix is working. So this is 2 into 2 LED matrix display. Um, suppose these are the 4 LEDs. We are just connected, we are just common all the anode of LED 1 and 2 and anode of this LED 3 and LED 4 and connecting the cathode of 1 and 3 and 2 and 4. So if we have to activate the LED 4, what we have to do? We have to activate the anode line by high pulse and cathode line by low pulse. So LED 4 will on. And suppose we have to activate LED 1. Uh, then we have to give high pulse or the anode and low pulse at the cathode. Thus LED 1 will on. Uh, now suppose we have to activate LED 2 and LED 3. So what we have to do? We have to activate the anode of LED2 and activate the cathode by giving the low pulse and activating the anode of LED3 and activating the cathode by giving the low pulse. But what will happen is LED1, 2, 3 and 4 all the LEDs will on by this as all the anode have the high pulse and all the LEDs cathode will have the low pulse and hence all the LED will on but um, what we have to do that we have to only on LED 3 and LED 4 so what we have to do we have to give we have to activate the anode of 2 uh, by giving the high pulse and giving the low pulse at the cathode for very few microseconds uh, say 300 microseconds and turn it off after 300 microseconds and then we have to activate the anode of LED3 and activate the cathode of LED3 by high and low pulse again for very few microseconds that is 300 microseconds um, and we have to repeat this process at very fast um, in loop say while loop and hence it will um, glow all the two LEDs uh, due to the persistence of vision we will just see LED 2 and LED 3 will be on and hence um, this is how it works uh, now let's jump for the code so as you can see I had used an array whatever the symbol I am displaying on LED matrix we will considering it as an image every image have the pixels in LED matrix, there are 64 LEDs representing each LED as 1 pixel. In this array, I use 64 bytes uh, of binary. Each byte has the value 1 or 0. 1 means that particular pixel that is one that particular LED is high. And if it is 0, that means that particular LED or particular pixel is low. That is LED will be off. And here in the random, I use this for effect just for effect after each and every image. In the white loop, in the white setup, um, I just declare an output pins column and row, and 
after declaring output in the column pins i am declaring that column pins high suppose we have to activate any of the led what we have to do we have to just give an high pulse at the anode and low pulse at the cathode cathode is the column pin so we have to first make it high and when we have to activate that particular led we have to just low that column pin in the void loop we are just calling the functions here I am first calling the random effect function to give an effect and here this show function to show that particular image for particular amount of time in the random effect function we are just creating an effect by the random one image and random two image in the show function first of all I am just making the while loop one that means if I make this infinite loop and after I am just calling the row row pin particular I am just scanning the row uh, row pins I am making the first row pin high and checking which particular column pin is 1 if it is 1 I will make that column pin row column pin low and that particular LED will turn on for 300 microsecond and after that I will just give high pulse and make that particular LED low and again that particular row pin that is anode pin low that means I am just turning on that particular LED for 300 microsecond and turn it off so this is how the white show loop show uh, yes show loop I can say it is working and this is how the whole code is working uh, if you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe on our channel and thanks for watching.